A Floss Tube. It's Veronica with Night Stitch, and I have been wanting to do sort of an inventory of my paper patterns that I have, so that is what I'm going to be doing today. This is from the X Stitch Magazine, Heroes and Villains Edition. It's Punch Today in the Face by Stitch Spiration. This is How to Spot a Super Villain from the same magazine. And it's by, I always get the person's name wrong, Pyro Dog Pins. This is also from the X-Stitch Magazine Heroes and Villains edition. Um, it's called Be the Villain by Peacock and Fig. This is Squeeze the Day by Everything Cross-Stitch. This is Christmas Truck by Dimensions. That's not the official name, but that's what I'm calling it. Have Epic Storybook Princesses from Clouds Factory. And Patrick Bateman. Found this on Etsy. Cat's Cross Stitchery. Um, Heaven and Earth Designs Mini Vanity by Marta Dalig. Have A Stitch in Time, Amy Stewart, Heaven and Earth Designs. Heaven and Earth Designs, um, Jan Patrick Krasny's Freebie Egyptian Queen, but it's no longer free. But you still can get the complete pattern of her sitting with her leopards, and it's called Queen of the Leopards. This is from Stony Creek. It's the welcome, haunted welcome. This is Christmas in London from Marabilia. This is Soar Today from Panoy Stitch. Apparently my chair is very creaky today. This is from Stony Creek. It's America, America. This is Mystic Stitch, Rosie the Riveter. This is from Sue Hillis Designs. It's Christmas in the Kitchen. And it says, May the warmth of Christmas fill your heart. I'm reading backwards. Throughout the coming year. May the warmth of Christmas fill your heart throughout the coming year. This is from Post Stitches. It's Sue Hillis Designs as well. But it's the Post Stitches series, I guess. I'm not sure. Um, it's burnt to perfection. Which I thought was really funny.
These two patterns are from the Heroes and Villains edition of the X-Stitch magazine. My hair is doing this weird poofy thing. And it's the Pirates. One of them is the East India Trading Company. And the other one is the Yo Ho Ho Pirate's Life for Me song. And at the bottom here on this one, there's another sword on this side. And then the rest of the boat and then some water. And then this is also from the X-Stitch magazine. Oh. Um, I should tell you who this is by. No, no, it doesn't say who the who the pirate patterns are made by. Maybe they're made by the Mr. X Stitch guy because it doesn't have any other person's name on it. Um, this is Excelsior by Ellen Schinderman of shindermania.com it's Stanley I wonder if I do this on a 25 count if it'll be more photo like I think I might try that because it does look a little pixelated and I realize that he may have been going for or I guess Ellen, she may have been going for a comic book feel, which is appropriate. But I still think that the 25 count would make him look realistic and still have that comic book feel just because of the colors and how his shirt is heavily like dotted here. I think it would still look like a comic book. I'm going to try this on 25 count and see what happens. And I have my lovely Lego Captain America up here. I love that he's in there. This is Imaginating. Um, trying to, is it? Oh, Ursula Michael. Let's appreciate police. This is a Dimensions, um, it's a kit, it's live in the moment, live life in the moment. This is Soda Stitch, World's Postage Stamp. This is Soda Stitch, Wine and Dessert. I'm just trying to see if I'm showing it without glare, which is why I'm underneath here. This is Queen of X Stitch by Panoy Stitch. It's a free chart. Um, I'm changing it to Khaleesi of Cross Stitch, but that's fine. It just says Queen of Cross Stitch. I have Lucy Beam Lovin' Stitches Immortal. And I bought some DMC variegated, or not variegated, the DMC like new colors in a box and I found out that DMC had given me a pattern, well several patterns to use for their, with their new floss. It's not necessarily something that I would normally stitch but that's what it looks like regardless. 
it's just showcasing their new colors. So there's that one, and then there is two more. There are two more. Um, that's one of them. is folded in the most obnoxious way but I guess they had to do that to fit it in the little box and then this is the fuck's sake that's the last one first one was called Bohemian Tapestry, the second one was called Woodland Walk, and the third one was called Tropical Punch. I thought that was nice of them to give me free patterns in my little box of colors. This is July 4th, Imaginating by Ursula Michael. So I have Pocahontas. Got it off Etsy, but the shop is closed now. Bilia, Portrait of Veronica. I have Pink Cocktails by Pinoy Stitch. And then Sex on the Beach by Pinoy Stitch. And now we will move on to my digital pattern stash. So hang tight, I'll be right back. And continuing my inventory of the patterns that I have in this pattern stash dive, I suppose. Um, these are the digital mock-ups or model stitch photos of patterns that I have. The first one is by Circus Stitches on Etsy, and it's called Super Secret Boy Band. This one is from Cross Stitch M Patterns on Etsy, and it's Frozen Elsa. This is Coffee Time by Cross Stitch Nitta on Etsy. This is also from Cross Stitch Nitta on Etsy, and it's Toothless and Light Fury. I specifically remember that this shop is closed on Etsy, so it's called, the name of the pattern is called Exploding Tardis. This is by Cross Stitch Bay on Etsy, and it's just called Darth Vader. This is by Cross Stitch Traveler on Etsy. 
and the pattern is called Sharkasm. This is by Diana70 on Etsy and it's called Woman on Exercise Bike. This is a free pattern by DMC and it's the Russian dolls pattern. This is by DMC. It is called Taste of Europe. This is also a free pattern on DMC's website. This is Doreen Jones cross stitch on Etsy. It's the Christmas advent calendar set of 24. This is Doreen Jones on Etsy and it's called Christmas Cupcakes. This is by Doreen Jones. It is on Etsy and it is called Seaside Sampler. This was a free pattern, I think, that I found. I don't know where I found it, but it's designed by Erica Glover and it's called Every Book is a TARDIS. I may have found it on like a cross-stitching blog somewhere. This is by Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. It is the Castle Homecoming Club 2023 Stitch Along. This is Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. It is called Liberty's Lights. This is from Heaven and Earth Designs and it is charted by Michelle. The artist is Thomas Kincaid Studios and the pattern is called Vatican Sunset. This is from an Etsy shop that has closed and it is called Captain America Steve Rogers. This is just my rearrangement of the DMC free pattern. Um, I wanted the icons to be in different places. I did add the clouds up here. The pattern from DMC did not come with that. And I added this Taste of Europe in the middle. I also changed the color of this suitcase and this car. don't think I'd change the colors of anything else. I might have changed the colors of the moped, but I can't remember. But that doesn't really matter. This is from a shop on Etsy that is closed. It is called House Targaryen. This is from a shop on Etsy that is closed. It's called Polygonal Batman. This is from Modern X Stitch on Etsy and it is called Merry Christmas. This is from Mo Sale and I've heard people talking about MoSail still, but the last time I went to their website, it was deactivated, so I'm not sure if they just changed the name of their website. If they have, I don't know what the new one is. So um, this is called Lord Grant Me.
This is also from Mo's sale, and it's called May the Floss. This is from a shop on Etsy that's no longer there. It is a birth sampler, and this is the name of the whatever stock thing that they put on there. Um, I'm stitching this as a gift for one of my sisters-in-law who has twins, and she also happens to like Dr. Seuss. She doesn't watch these videos, so I can show you this. This is from a shop on Etsy that is closed. It is Doctor Who, black and white. This is from a shop on Etsy that is closed. It's called Yoda Do or Do Not. This is from Nerdy Little Stitcher on Etsy and it's called I Wear Black to the Gym. This is from Owl Forest Embroidery and it is zoom in a bit too far it is their treasure island stitch along and you can get this pattern free on their website which i thought was amazing and i love pirates of the caribbean so i thought this was fun this is Halloween Pumpkins by Peacock and Fig. And I thought the pumpkins were making funny faces and this one's just laughing, so I thought it was funny. This is by Peacock and Fig and it is called Joust Another Anniversary. This is by Panoi Stitch, and I got it off everythingcrossstitch.com. It's called Holiday Hooties. These are from Spruce Craft Co. It's an Australian cross-stitch designer, and they are called Christmas Socials. This is also from Spruce Craft Co. and it is called Energy Saver. This is from Spruce Craft Co. and it is called Laundry Day. This is from Spruce Craft Co. and it is called nap time. This is from Spruce Craft Co. and it is called post nap. This is from Spruce Craft Co. and it's called success story. This is also from Spruce Craft Co. and it is called Weekly Schedule. This is from Spruce Craft Co. and it is called Well, Well, Well. This is from Stitchy Box and it is K is for Night. This is by Tilton Crafts. The artist is Daniel Cordick and it's called Khaleesi and Cal. I'll zoom this one in. This is by Tilton Crafts. It's uh, artist by artist is also Daniel Cordick and it is called Merida.
This is by a shop on Etsy that I can't pronounce. Um, it's Vicky C I A L P, and it's just I think called Superheroes America or something. But obviously it's Chris Evans. So this is from DailyCrossStitch.com, and I found this website when I was looking for free patterns and if you sign up for their newsletter every day they will send you a um, link to go see what the free pattern is on their website and you go there and it the login process is a little finicky because I feel like I've had to go there and like log in once add the free pattern to the cart and then it makes you log in again for some reason but it's okay I just wanted to let you know that's kind of fiddly if you want to go to this site and get free patterns um, they only stay free for that one day and then after that they're a dollar um, and then I think they also have like a subscribe Thing. so that's different from their newsletter so though you can subscribe to their site and then you get like the um, free pattern but you also get like the members free pattern um, I didn't do that but I just like to go and see sometimes if they have a free pattern that I like so these are some of the ones I've collected um, so this one is called Choco Dipped Strawberry. This is from Daily Cross Stitch. It is called Creativity Takes Courage. This is from Daily Cross Stitch. It's called Dear Santa, I Can Explain. I really like the gradient and colors on this one. This is from Daily Cross Stitch. It's called Do Not Enter. This is from Daily Cross Stitch. It's called Escape. This is from Daily Cross Stitch. It's called Firecracker Trio. This is from Daily Cross Stitch. It's called Hang In There, Santa. This is from Daily Cross Stitch. It's called Happy Car. This is from Daily Cross Stitch. It's called Knitter. This is from Daily Cross Stitch. It's called Medieval Banner. This is from Daily Cross Stitch and it's called Pop Fizz Clink. This is from Daily Cross Stitch and it is called Summer Lemon. This is from Daily Cross Stitch. I apparently have screenshot a label on here. It's called Whole Apple Pie. This is from Glendon Place. And it was a free pattern that was on their site that really surprised me because I was on their site looking for a place I could add something to a wish list and I happened to go to their homepage and this pattern was there and it said it was free and I was like whoa I don't know it just seemed really impressive to me for a free pattern because it's very detailed so that's why but um, I really like the quote on it 
Um, at the end of the day, all you need is hope and strength. Hope that it will get better and strength to hold on until it does. And I feel like it's... I really liked it because I kind of feel like there's a lot of negativity going on in the world. And this was an extremely positive message and I really liked it. This is a free pattern from Mirabilia's website and I don't think that I've stitched any of their mermaids. I stitched a peacock and fig mermaid stitch along like a long time ago. So I thought I would stitch a Mirabilia mermaid, but I wasn't sure if I wanted like an actual Mirabilia one, like one that you buy. So I thought I would stitch this free one and see if I liked it. I already really like all the beads on it that you can see on here. And it says Mirabilia Australia because it was a pattern from the Mirabilia Australia retreat. This is from Bobby G Designs. It's called Keep Calm and Stitch On. This is a free pattern from DMC. It's called Winter Reef. And I got this to replace a reef on one of my patterns that I'm stitching because I'm not a big fan of flowers. So I decided this wreath would be cool because it's Christmassy and it has food on it. Two things which I like much better than flowers. I'm allergic to pollen, so that's why I don't really love live flowers. This is a pattern from janlin.com, and it is called Lighthouse, and it is designed by Sandy Garbrandt. This is also from janlin.com and it's called These Colors Don't Run and it's by Laura Doyle. This is from Kitty and Me Designs. I originally got it off their blog, but it turns out they have an Etsy shop as well. This was a free pattern that was in memoriam of 9-11 and it's called they shall soar on wings like eagles and the designer is Pamela Kellogg this is by rogue stitchery it's called well-balanced life and it's a bookmark This is a pattern called Bearing Guns and Paws Up. It's designed by Neil James and it is in the Blocked Magazine edition. Bare Arms edition, I believe. This is a free magazine. This is also from Blocked Magazine. I don't know the designer because I did not get that information beforehand. It's in the same edition of um, the magazine, The Bare Arms, and it's, I'm just going to call it a water gun sampler. I don't know what it's called. I'll probably get that information when I stitch the pattern.
This is by Clouds Factory. It's the CSI Las Vegas TV characters. This is by Clouds Factory. It is the Legendary Creatures Stitch Along, which I did not finish. This is Museum Shelf by Amy Stewart, and it is on Heaven and Earth Designs. This is by Peacock and Fig, and it is called Dashing Through the Hell No. This is also by Peacock and Fig, and it is Fala La Wine. And this is also by Peacock and Fig, and it is called Sarcasm. This is the pattern that I was changing the wreath on. Um, I don't have an arrow anymore, so I suppose I am finished with this digital pattern presentation. <laughs> okay, well, that's all the stuff I wanted to show you today of my pattern stash and uh, it's kind of like an inventory too to see what I have so that I remember what I have because I have a lot of patterns so this is a handy way for me to document what's going on so I would like to thank everyone for watching my videos liking subscribing commenting and hanging out with me so until next time, I will see you lovely people on the next video. Bye.